sometimes uh, our star cup does get restarted up here and busy goes off. Anyways, back into this game, it's a three-player uh, map. It is a three-player map, the only one that we are using in uh, this tournament, the MLG. It's a map that we don't see quite as often because it's not in other tournaments. Uh, only really Icy Cup and MLG uses it. So definitely uh, a map that the players have less, less uh, games on overall. They're not going to feel quite as comfortable here. Except for maybe Nanowall. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Now, um, Extractor on the way here yeah. for Rhett. Uh, In this case, we have the pool first, and then Extractor for Slush. That's quite true, Tasteless. It is a 10 pool from Slush. Uh, it looks like, in fact, he's going to keep that gas. Uh, that is a very, very fast pool in gas. Looks like this is probably going to be just a Baneling all-in. Rhett, on the other hand, going for gas, then pool. Uh, this is a great counter to what Slush has done. Rhett should be able to get a build order win here. As long as he micros right and doesn't accidentally over drone or something like that. As long as he does the very standard build that he's doing and he executes it the way it normally is, he should be able to take out Slush. Spawning pool completes. Now, will he throw up a Baneling Nest in a moment here? Um, you know, one thing about Slush is he is, to be frank, the opposite of Hydra, but he's still just as predictable. Yeah, yeah that's actually a... Pretty interesting and good way to put it, Tasteless. Thank you. Um, and it looks like Slush is actually saving up for speed, so he's just going to have a lot of Zerglings that are not expected. And uh, pretty standard of Slush, just sending them off to the side. Doesn't want to show them at all to any possible overlords around. And, uh, hmm, looks like he's just going to go for a lot of Speedlings. But speed starting for Rhett uh, just before Slush's, so he's actually going to be fine as long as he goes in and scouts and can actually figure out how many Lings Slush does have. More Lings coming out here. We should see the Banelings Nest here from Slush pretty soon. Unless uh, we've misread his... Oh, no, excuse me. Take a look here. Yeah. Pooling Zerglings. Well, uh, this is going to be interesting. It's going to come down to if Rhett can actually scout that Slush is pooling up the Zerglings. Because if he can, then his uh, economy, which is better by two drones, 14 drones to 12. And he's had more drones for longer. Uh, should be good. Now, Rhett is still making some Zerglings, getting that hatchery. And he really has not been able to scout yet, really, Tasteless. He doesn't know about all these Lings. So, as I said before, a lot of Slush's games are about, hey, can I get a really weird amount of units at a weird amount of time and just kill you? And this is exactly what this build is. Rhett is not going to expect that many Lings. He's going to see those running by his Overlord, and he's going to start getting ready for it. Rhett now making a ton of Ling's speed is going to finish. He's making a Roachmorn as well. The Queen is coming down, Tasteless. Can he hold this? This is a tense moment here. The Ling's rapidly moving in. The Queen Ooh. could be isolated. 23 Ling's against 17. So, uh, But he does have the Queen in there as well, which is going to make a big difference. And the Surface Area just slightly better for Slush right there for a moment. More Ling's coming for Slush. Rhett has to get a good Surface Area. Knows the dancing at the bottom where they spread out. And uh, Rhett, come on, can you do this? Can you hold these Zerglings? And, oh, Slush messing up, leaving a few lings up there. And Slush has been held for now. You know, so far, Liquid Rhett, uh, not in terrible shape. He did lose the Queen, and, you know, in Zerg Berserk especially, if you lose the Queen right away, mm. it gets pretty difficult because, you know, Larva Inject is uh, so critical, especially with a matchup that's just so aggressive. Quite true, but he does have two hatches, so he's still going to be making a lot of Zerglings. Uh, Slush still making nothing but Zerglings. Rhett still making nothing but Zerglings. And I think Rhett has realized, you know what, I'm just going to make a ton of Zerglings here to make sure I don't die. And perhaps even do a counterattack uh, with Slush's Zerglings running away, though. The counterattack can be a little bit risky. So he is moving up. Will Slush try to run around for his own counter? We're going to see here. It's two hatches against one. And the Baneling Nest follows us up. There's really no way right now for Slush to be able to take an expansion down here. Meanwhile, Rhett actually managed to breach the ramp with a bad angle here, and he's going to have to turn around. That's quite right. More and more Zerglings being made for Slush, so he is doing uh, all-in Phase 2. He's up to uh, 34 Zerglings. Rhett has 28, but Rhett is at 19 drones against 11 drones. A Spine Crawler going up right there next to the Queen. And the Baneling Nest is going to finish for Slush. He may be able to just run Rhett over here. Because Rhett is staying pure Zergling while Slush is actually teching up into Banes. And yeah, those Banes should be enough to uh, change around these numbers. 
All right, the uh, drones now. You know, Rhett actually canceled his uh, Roach Warren, remaking it right there. Oh, no interest. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is, Bad angle here. This could not get ugly. With this. There's not really anything you can do. There's no way to touch that many banelings. Oh, my God, that was so close. Rhett with some pretty superior micro right there, but the banelings are going for the main. Uh -oh. oh. They're going for Rogue. Oh. <laughs> And, uh, oh, huge Banelings, and it looks like Slush, with his weird amounts of units at weird amounts of time, is going to be able to win yet That's another it, game. GG. Man, Slush. This guy knows how to get in there and do some serious damage. He does, Tasteless. I mean, this, it's, these are not timings that players who practice a lot for a pro tournament are used to. Yeah. He's hitting all these strange timings where they're like, wait a minute, why do you have this many Zerglings? So then Rep way over makes Zerglings. like, okay, now I have more. And then Slush is like, ah, I got no, Banelings no, no. now. I know I don't have any drones, but I have attacking units. You know, Slush, I got to hand it to him. He is good at what he does. He's good at this um, very specific, I'm going to punish you if you do anything that, uh, you know, indicates that you're attempting to get ahead, basically. He's very good at that. Mm -hmm. um, players like Rhett um, or Hydra, for instance, and Zerg for Zerg might have a harder time. We know, uh, you know, Moon did. Uh, you know, I did not have an easy time against Slush at all. Hmm. He's he's good at this matchup. He's one of the better Zerg vs. Zergs I've seen um, in this style. And we just got word, Tasteless, that MC has beaten Thorzane. Wow. I'm not I'm not shocked, but that's exciting results to hear. Yeah, no, that's, that's my story. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the revenge is complete, I guess, for those guys. Listen up. While we're waiting for this game to get set up, let's go ahead and throw it to a commercial. We'll be right back here at MLG. I'm Tasis with me as Artosis. I'll see you guys soon.